Hello Cosmonauts and welcome to a new tutorial on Ariel, the web AR marketing platform that is about to step up your marketing game. In this video, we will learn how to set up and use our plugin with Shopify. Now this plugin allows you to add to your product page a call to action that links to the experience on Ariel and more importantly, to embed the 3D viewer directly into your product page. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. First off, you're gonna see that we are inside of Shopify right now. And the very first thing we have to do is add our application for Shopify. Now to do this, all you have to do is click on apps on the left-hand side. And then inside of the search field, all you have to do is search for Arial and then click on enter. And once we do that, we will see the result is the AR slash 3D products viewer. So simply click on that, and then you're gonna click on install app. Since I already have mine installed, it says open app, but yours will say install the application. And when you do, it will appear right here, and we can go ahead and click on that. Now, once we click on that, the very first thing we have to do is go ahead and set up our API key. Now, to grab our API key, we are going to head inside of our Arial dashboard. And once we are logged in, we are going to click on our account at the top right. That's going to open the drop down menu. And then we're going to go ahead and click on account. Now, once we click on account, we can go ahead and scroll to the very bottom. And once we're at the bottom, we will see the API key section and we can see that we can create an API key. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And once I do, that's going to go ahead and create my API key. And then from here, I can click on the copy icon. And then once I have that copied, we can go back inside of our Shopify app. Then we can click on set up API key. Then we can simply paste in that key and then click on save. Now, once we have that saved, the next thing we need to do is actually enable the script inside of our theme. So to do that, we can actually click on enable scripts right here inside of the app. And that is actually going to open up the customize option inside of our theme. And it's going to redirect us to our app embeds section over here on the left hand side. And we just want to make sure that we toggle on this option right here. OK, we want it to be blue just like that. And then once it's blue, you want to make sure that you save it up here at the top right hand corner. And then once you save it, we can head back inside of our app just like so. Now, once we have that saved, it's time to move into the next part, which is going into our products. So now I'm going to click on my product. Then I want to open up the products that I would like to add our app to. So in my case, I'm going to go with the Greenhaven recliner sofa. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my products link, and that's going to take me into the products page. Now, once we are inside of our products page over here on the top, right, we have more actions and we can click this drop down menu and we now have add aerial campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And once I do that, you'll see that we now need a campaign ID. Now to grab our campaign ID, I'm going to go back inside of my aerial platform and you'll notice right now that I am inside of a surface experience that I've created. Now the campaign ID is going to actually be inside of the URL bar up here at the top. So we can see I have campaigns forward slash edit forward slash and then a bunch of numbers and letters. This right here is going to be your campaign ID. So anything after the edit forward slash, we're going to copy that and that's the campaign ID and we're going to head back inside of Shopify and we're going to paste in the campaign ID. And once we have that pasted, we're going to go ahead and click on save. Now that we have that saved, we can begin adding our 3D experience inside of our product pages. Now to do that, I'm going to click on online store and then I'm going to go to customize my theme. And once I'm inside of my customized theme, I've went ahead and I've navigated to the products that we were customizing, which was the Greenhaven recliner sofa. Now on the left hand side is where we can begin to add different elements to this page. And what we're looking for is the apps category. And then right underneath that, we have the ability to add block. So we're going to go ahead and click on add block. And assuming that we installed the application correctly, we're going to see two different options here. We have AR embed and AR button. And I'm going to cover both of those, but let's go ahead and start with the AR embed. So I'm going to click on that. And once I click on that, 
That's gonna add our AR embed over here inside of the products page. On the far right hand side, we will see a list of all of the settings and configurations for this feature. Now, by default, the background is going to be black. So if we wanna make it transparent, we just have to delete everything from the bloom section down here at the bottom. And once we do that, we will see that it fixes itself. Now we can see that our embed is pretty small. So we're gonna scroll back up here to the top and for the scale, we are just going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do 19, 19 and 19. And once I do that, and once that finishes loading up, we can see that it is now looking a lot better. And you'll see that we have a bunch of other different options here. We can adjust the loader color, the position, the rotation, the minimum and maximum distance. We also have the ability to show a button. So if I turn this on here, it's gonna show a button with the text view in AR. And of course we can customize the button text as well to make it say something else if I wanted to. And as we can see, we have the button right here. We also have some interactions. We can disable the gestures. We can auto rotate and then so forth. So we are free to customize this however we want to. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the button for now. And next, I wanna show you the other option that we have, which is I'm gonna to go to add block once again. And this time I'm gonna click on AR button. Once I do that on the right hand side, once again, we have settings that we can configure. We have any CSS class that we can add. We have a text color, a button background color, the label and the alignment. So let's say for example, I wanted to say view in AR and then for our button background color, let's go ahead and make this, um, let's say black. And then the text color, we can leave that white. And then right now my text alignment is left. And once that loads, we can see my button is now on the left. So let's go ahead and change that to the center. And now we have our custom button here with the text that we want right here in the center of our page. Now, when you are finished adding your AR embeds and your AR buttons, you wanna make sure that you click save up here in the top right hand corner. Now, if you'd like to preview exactly what this looks like on your live store, we can go ahead and exit our theme customization. Then we are going to click on products and then right next to the products that we were customizing, there's a little eyeball that we can click on. And that's gonna open up that products page so we can see exactly what this looks like inside of our live store. So once I scroll down here, we can see the sofa that we added here and I can click view in AR and that's gonna open up and give me the QR code where I can scan this and view it on my phone. And that's it. You now know how to set up and use Ariel's Shopify plugin. Mission accomplished, Cosmonaut. I'll see you in space.